Hi everyone, it's Sintang Mayumi. This is Christmas series number 8. Let's start with our background. I used the Stomp Market cooling rack and I will uh, stamp it with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and emboss it with clear embossing powder. This is a large stamp so I will uh, be using my Mini Misty here so I can stamp multiple times to get good impression. The paper I'm using is 120 pound accent opaque cardstock that I got from Amazon. And I'm just going to pour some of this uh, clear embossing powder. I'm, not, I'm using the WOW uh, embossing powder. And then I will just melt the powder with my heat tool. After the embossing is done, I'm going to fussy cut the cooling rack with my detailed teaser. As you can see, I embossed a few of them. But I just used two of this cooling rack in this video. I'm also going to run my memento black marker on the edges so it will look seamless. Now that we are done with the cooling rack, let's move on with our images. This stamp set is from Maker Forte called Christmas Cookies Stamp Set. I'm going to stamp the images with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink on 90 pound Stratmore watercolor paper because I'm going to fussy cut this after I uh, color them with my zig markers. It's easier for me to fussy cut them if I use thinner paper and the 90 pound Stratmore watercolor paper is thinner and it's easier for me to fussy cut. That's why I, um, I use that paper. The zig marker colors I use are deep red and red. I will add some diamond stickles on the white part of the images and when it dries, it will look like sugar. And here are my colored images. I also colored some of the images from the stamp set. For the background panel, I'm going to use 6x6 pattern paper. This paper pad is from Michaels that I got a few years ago. I'm going to cut the pattern paper to 5 and 3 8 by 4 and 3 8 inches. Let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I chose Happy Holidays sentiment from the stamp set. I will stamp that with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. Stamp it on scraps of white cardstock and cut them in, into strips using my paper trimmer. I will add a little bit of color to my cooling rack using Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Now that everything is ready, we can adhere all the elements together. I will adhere the cooling rack sideways and cut the part that are hanging off the card. I think adhering the cooling rack that way gives it more character to the card. So as you can see here, I'm just removing the excess paper and we'll go ahead and pop up all the other uh, images and I will also adhere and pop up the sentiment and also the small images. And we can adhere this panel on our A2 size top folding card base. I'm using white uh, card base this time and I only have a little bit or tiny bit of uh, border and I will do the same thing with this other uh, panel here. And for the inside of the cards, I will stamp another sentiment from the stamp set with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and I will place the sentiment in the middle of, of the card and I will also adhere some of this leftover colored images above the sentiment. And my cards are complete. These Christmas cookies are adorable. I love the stamp set from Maker Forte. I hope you like today's cards and as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.